hello this is the Adamson and today we are going to do a fish and we are going to use all the colors in the palette all the blues all the reds yellows oranges greens everything that we have uh, black browns everything so uh, the first thing I'm going to do is a quick sketch I created an oval for the body and then the top part of the oval I made kind of like a droplet. Inside the droplet I placed a circle which will represent the eye, kind of 11 o'clock. And then I'm going to add a top fin and then the side fin and a tail. And uh, pretty much that's it. I'm gonna just keep that and I am not going to uh, draw the bottom fin we're just gonna pretend we don't know it, it exists there but it's going to look like it has it because we are going to add a lot of uh, tail and uh, side fins so for the fins I'm just doing a wiggly line kind of in the shape of an S um, or backwards S so and then I um, we we'll just erase the non-perfect parts, leave a little bit of the pencil line, and then we're ready to start. The eraser I'm using, it's a gum eraser, so it's pliable. I can make it into this very elongated, kind of a string looking thing, and then I will roll it over my canvas, so not rubbing a lot. I am starting with wet on wet technique and I'm just going to start dropping colors in and have those colors mixed together. So it really doesn't matter where you're going to um, or what colors you're gonna put in, just kind of um, think ahead of time if those two colors meet, what color they will make and do you want it in that area, that's all. So I added turquoise blue for the top head, for the top of the head, and yellow. And obviously, where they're meeting, there was plenty of space between them, so it's creating green. And then kind of a purplish red, which is a mixture between blue and red. And I'm adding a few lines, softening them with just a wet brush. Adding yellow, so yellow and red when they mix will create a kind of an orangey thing. But blue and red will create kind of a purplish, and because the red, uh, the red is very transparent, and it's not a ton of water on that area, the blue is not going to really mix too much. So we're going to see very light purple in some of the areas. So the first thing I'm doing is creating those lines, and if you see, they're kind of uh, going in the same direction. And some of them are partial and some of them are all the way to the end. And actually I will extend that tail even uh, more. So now I'm adding a little bit dark with blue. Just to make sure that I am kind of outlining this body. But not with the brush strokes but with just elements around it. I'm going to add green. So if green and blue mix together, we're still good. Nothing weird happens. Also, if we add the yellow to the green, it's just a different variation of green. And also the blue and the yellow will make green too. So we're all good there. I do not want to murky the colors. So I don't, I'm not using tons of water. about money here happening. So this pretty much looks almost like a rainbow fish in a line. So this is our uh, first layer almost with many different colors. kind of a uh, few lines on the end to make it uneven and now 
the water is not uh, puddles of water so when I start adding more color the paint is not moving fast this is slightly wet not a lot for the eye we have three circles into each other so we have the outer the, and the inner circle and the one in between black will help us kind of push some colors or some parts forward and you can see I'm adding very little I'm actually running out let's add more blue emphasizing and all my lines are almost all my lines are starting from where the tail is starting and pushing it away So I'm not going backwards on the tail. So we're losing a little bit this part of the fish, so I'm going to emphasize with more color, darker color. I also wanted to create a heavier color on the back of the fish, like a C. And now the eye is popping out even more. So that's on the outside of the first circle. So constantly keeping those lines, um, separating the body with the tail and the fins. Starting to increase the volume on those colors, giving more weight. So we started with very light color, and now I'm going to start dropping more and more color in. to end that tail just like mm, straight line so I'm going to add a little bit and that helped and that's black with blue very light background I'll make the fish pop out more. So I'm doing, I'm starting with uh, wet on dry, but then I'm just making my brush wet and kind of softening the edges and moving that color around that I added previously. bubbles it's fun so it doesn't matter if they look perfect or not you're just there to add more interest but pretty much that's it so a few more details um, and we're gonna be done but I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you get notifications for my future videos and this is our rainbow fish I will have another better fish coming up so just wait for that but yeah we're done so happy painting and let me know what do you think thanks bye bye